we use is poplar or willow, and this is a piece of poplar. We use it fresh and wet, that makes it easy to cut. But back in the day, all wooden shoes were made by hand, with this large knife to shape out the outside. Several sizes of sport scoops were used to hollow out the inside. And this was a tough job back in the day. It took a professional wooden shoemaker about two to three hours to make a pair by hand. With these machines nowadays, it only takes five minutes. This machine makes the outside of the wooden shoe plate, and the machine is very old. It was built in 1938. Since they invented this machine, a little bit before that, they have not found a better way to make wooden shoes. Not a machine, nor by hand. <laughs> the rough outside. This machine works similarly to a key copying machine. The machine follows the model while the knives cut out the exact same shape on the loaf of wood. Same type of system for this machine, only for the inside. Again, we are going to make a copy of the model. Oops. 
Oops, oh my god. <laughs> So this shield needs to dry slowly for three to four weeks and after that we polish it on the sun paper belt. The final result is a pretty shoe for a child of about four years old. Looks quite big for a four year old, but that is normal. They are big. <laughs> <laughs> now the reason why we still do is first of all they are really strong. The shoes are official safety shoes. A wooden shoe can hold up to 700 kilograms and the horse can step on your foot without any problem. The shoes are also waterproof and very comfortable. Best way to wear thick woolen socks for extra cushioning and one finger boom at the heel to prevent blistering. Now, and that was my story. Thank you very much. <laughs> Where are you? In the Coke factory. Clog. I'm in Clogland. <laughs>